We got some boring ones. I guess I'm going to go with three Goss Champion. Just give me a set. Give me a set and then give me talent search as augment number one. All right, we got the three Goss Champion. Who's going to high roll? We did not really high roll. Samira, Nico, Nico. Okay, no one actually got a hard steel unit. Maybe I get a full gold opener though. I am a fan of KDA Lilia. It would give me KDA immediately. I'm going to see what I get first. I think obviously Corky would be a better unit from this spot. Bow. I'm probably AD. Or I want to be AD. So I'm not going to take KDA Lilia. Plus, I've had way too many KDA games. True damage cannon. I'm almost down. I think I am down for true damage cannon. Oh, and we hit an echo. So we just have a four true damage start. And then I see twin terror. There's a new twin terror comp that I really want to try. It involves punk. So I'm going to sell this off. All right, I'm going to put the comp in the team planner just so people can see it. But I'm definitely hitting 10. Okay, so it's basically Twitch and Vex are the ones that I'm going to reroll for three stars. Then I'm playing Pantheon as well as one that I'm rerolling for a three star. And later on, you just play like Akali, Amumu, of course. And that's really just the comp. It's definitely just Amumu Vex, but these are my two carries. Vex and Twitch, and then Pantheon is my main tank. What's really weird here is I'm gonna level and take my first roll. Hitting the Mumu. I'm gonna sell this off. And we're leveling to six before we like roll any deeper. We're gonna slow roll for Twitch three and Pantheon three. Am I gonna win this fight? I'm actually gonna win a fight with just two Punkin? Ah, maybe it's a one unit loss. I'd prefer it to be a one unit loss. Come on, you can get the ult off. Nice. I can use Jinx as an item holder for now, if I want to, and I'm not going to be strong till later. I did something similar to this a while back. I just played all Punk to end Terror, and it was very good. I want a bow. Second pick. Where's my bow? It's on this side. Oh, it's on a Senna. Probably not getting that. I would take Guardbreaker too, though. Wait, I might get it. I am going to get it. Give me my red buff. Well, there's a Pantheon. Then I am going to take my one roll, and there's my Twitch. Twitch is getting the red buff. Plus, he's getting a glove. It is tempting to level here, but I don't want to yet. I could have also been playing four punk this round. I'd prefer to five loss streak, though, if possible. All right, I am going to at least four loss streak. I don't know if I'm five loss streaking now. I'm going to level and roll this time. There's my Vex. All right, if I fight this guy, so be it. Like, I just, I'm going to lose that fight. Or I'm going to win that fight and lose my streak. I did get that fight. Sad. Not looking for Pentakill Nar. I think I'm still strong enough to beat this. Armor. Armor's okay, but I'm I don't want to slam Stone Blade. What is this? Oh, a Kali. I will take a Kali. And a sword. I could build IE. Not very good though if I have Executioner already. I will throw in the Akali though. I'm trying to debate on what other items I could slam, because I guess the tier item I could always have a blue buff on Vex. Like the tier item probably always goes on my Vex. I'm going to lose this fight either way. These two items definitely always go on to my Pantheon. I'm not recombobbing. I'm down for a Harm Assist. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that was a good job. I actually think this might be better. It's close. And what am I aiming for? Am I aiming for blue buff? Probably not. I think I'm just aiming for Guard Breaker. Probably means I'm supposed to just slam a stone plate. Yeah, I'm gonna slam a stone plate. This guy has punk in, but he's not twin terror. And he also is just playing this. I'm kind of confused. Is he gonna end up playing punk here? Because he took misconnections as well. Don't tell me he's gonna contest my punk game. Okay, we hit Twitch. Now this is probably better just for four executioner. I could use the remover. I probably should just use the remover to move these items to my Twitch. Like to my chosen Twitch, that is. I need the three star. He is trying to transition into punk. Don't do that to me. I want belt or bow. All right, there's the belt. I just want to build guard breaker here. It's on a three cost. The other option was to take the tier, but that would have been gone already. There's another Twitch. I am gonna remover it. 
double pantheon probably level yeah i'll just go ahead and level we only need three more twitches which is really nice and we're actually pretty high up on our pantheon game too And we might four streak into the next PvE round. At 69 health. There's a Vex and a Mumu. He might be pivoting. Can't really tell. It looks like he probably is going to pivot. He definitely should. He has terrible items for playing Ponk. I will also say my Econ is not great. Oh, we... Almost dodged that stun. Looks like we still win. Yeah, we do still win. Nice. And now we start our actual rolling. There's no Mumu too. There's a Vex too. Armor, bow, Giant Slayer. Yeah, I'll just build a Giant Slayer. All right, two off. Giant Slayer. Armor items always going to go here. One off. I still want this Akali. Oh, he wrapped to my back line. That's not good. But we kind of dodged that stun. This is a close fight. He's level 8. Let's check on the TV guy. He's still playing 4 punk. Know your enemy is okay. I'm just going to take know your enemy. There's another Pantheon. I need to pay attention to this guy. He does have a Twitch 2 in and a Pantheon 2. This guy hit Jax 3. That helps me, but it means that I probably should roll it down because he's already at the 3 star. Most likely I should just roll it down now. Oh, the Zanyas. The Zanyas won him this fight. Do I get a tier on Carousel? I have third pick. I want tier or rod, probably. There's a Vex. And a Kali, too. I don't know why a Kali always gets stuck on my bench right afterwards. I was waiting to see if this guy was going to ever pivot out of his punk, but he just hasn't pivoted. Like, I expected him to pivot out of punk. At least most of the way out of punk. But he's just playing four punk and fast leveling. And we got it. There's a spat I don't care about. I just want Tear Cane or Sword Lulu, probably. Or Rod Senna. Probably. Well, no, Belt Twitch. I just want Belt Twitch. That gives me my Twitch 3. Twitch 3 in. Now I could just level. I am just going to level. Now we just play Protect My Twitch. I do want to go 8. I'm just debating on how feasible that actually is. Like, should I just roll at 7? Because I still do want the Pantheon. And considering that, I probably should roll at 7. Oh, we lose this fight. Oh, we won. Okay, that was close. There's a Pantheon and an Amumu. So I guess I hold it. Alright, level 8. He just, he did pivot now. Crowd Diver, pass 9. Hence a kill. Okay, Disco in last. I want to do a damage check. This Twitch is actually looking very, very good. And I'm doing pretty good about protecting him from Akali and stuff by putting him in the middle there. Our punk bonus is actually only 50%, which compared to most is way lower than you'd expect. Give me a tier for a blue buff. Rod, sword, cloak tier. Okay, I got a blue buff. I'm going blue buff, giant slayer, crown guard, even shroud. That actually worked out really well. If I level, I'm either playing a true damage unit or I'm just playing another Akali. I'm not sure which one. I'm eager to see how much Vex 3 does compared to the headliner Twitch though. Am I going to lose to this? I think I am going to lose to this. I'm definitely losing. If I level, though, it's going to be really hard for me to hit Pantheon. At least I have a chance at Pantheon here. I'm going to roll. And we just hit three Pantheons in one shot. 
we had that's one more than we need i don't actually need this extra one i may as well level and put it in though and then what's my third item Vervex. it's probably just like a nashers or something similar i'd prefer this to be another akali over another pantheon i think that's the goal yeah play another akali there's one vex i'm gonna put the itemless vex in the left hand side oh he had a needlessly big gem off of teaming up that's i think one of the best possible hits probably is the best possible hit because it's a support item plus you also get ascension it has to be the best possible there's another red buff i don't care really about i mean red buff would be fine for a collie maybe guard breaker's okay titans is okay i'm probably just taking guard breaker well now i'm taking sunfire i guess i could have taken hurricane i think i'd rather have a frontline item all right show me more vex not this time all right you can have a sunfire even though we don't really need sunfire we already have the wound here if i'm going nine it would be kiana for sure and kiana is the only option there i think It has to just be Kiana. Get your ult off. It's a, everybody V Jax. We got it. There's one Vex and an Amumu. Would have been really funny if we rolled once and hit the Vex 3. I am one off. This guy has Yone 3. It doesn't have QSS though. That's a better opportunity for me. And it looks like we're targeting right. I wanted to try and target him as soon as possible. Just keep stunning him. Oh, the Viego went to my back line. Oh no, the Yone went to my back line. Oh no, it all went wrong. It all went wrong. I have enough for one more loss. Another Amumu. I'm probably rolling. I'm gonna put this in for now. I want to roll for another Akali. And if I get TG, that's also very good here. Because I can just TG the Akali. Rabadon, Static Shiv, BT, Edge of Night. Probably just, I'm just going to take Rabadons. There's Kiana. All right, let me hit one time. There's Vex 3. Kiana should be in, I think. Well, tree damage isn't that big. True damage is not a huge deal here, I don't think. And we get to check what the difference is. And Twitch is still doing way better numbers. And we have the one-on-one -on -one with the Yone player. And we get to level next turn. Could just do this. I'm trying to position differently because obviously the way I was positioning last time didn't work. I can corner though against this guy. It, I'll, hit, I'll get hit by Crowd Diver, but that's okay. Oh, he did swap. We killed the Zed immediately, though. We killed the One. We're going to win the fight. Nice. It's all going to be positioning, then. He's also going to go nine. Right, let's level double Kiana. Sure. I'd prefer it to be the other way around, obviously. All right, he is not swapping. Okay, he is swapping. He put the Yone opposite side. I mean, last time he won because it was same side, and he wrapped. Oh, they're stunned for way too long here. Stop getting stunned! Okay. So it's, yeah, it's just a positioning battle. So they can never be in this back. TG? I will happily take the TG. There's my Akali. That, that was the one I'd prefer to be there. Another Akali? All right, you can have a TG. He's still going for a Z3. Oh, wait, this might be good for us. We are targeting right next to him. All right, we got it. Yeah, all the positioning battles. Kiana too, that's a big upgrade. We need to stop getting tank items for our Kali though. I'm gonna try this positioning. Trying this positioning, that way they never get stunned. It's always going to go for one of the extras. 
Uh, but he's gonna rap again. Okay, yeah, if he raps, I lose. Wait, wait, I, I, I still have a chance. I do win. I win with the rap. Nice. We got there with Twin Terror, Twitch, and Vex. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.